What up, Team Lockhouse? Cody and myself just came to Bluebird Backcountry. This is the newest ski resort in Colorado. And it doesn't have any chairlifts. We are splitboarding. It's a splitboard. Maybe it's a snowshoe. I don't know. It's like definitely a splitboard only resort. But it's got some sick terrain. It's technically backcountry, but it's also like avalanche mitigated and there's like ski patrol and stuff. So we're gonna have a good day. It's a, another adventure on the splitboard. The last one was an adventure. So here we go. Slowly. Already time to take a layer off. So here's an area where people have ridden out. I doubt you guys can see that with the sun directly beaming at us, but it's uh, pretty ridden out. Hopefully we can find some fresh tracks today. Obviously that's the goal. When you're putting work like this, you don't want to ride something that's all skied up. But they also have these like gnarly shoots called the pucker shoots. So I'm kind of like right up our style. Do some ugly snowboarding today, if you know what I mean. So they got like benches everywhere. So these signs are cool. So it's going to tell us our average angle, which we're ascending. Pucker shoot closes at two. So we got to make sure we get to it. And uh, yeah, extreme double black. It's the most difficult. Feet. It's the most difficult. It's the most difficult, Cody. So split board bindings have these little risers in the back for when you start going up. Makes it so much more comfortable. Alright, we're cruising. Going to puck shoots. Now we're going to 17 degree pitch on the way up. Five more degrees up. Ooh. Halfway there. This skinning's probably gonna get way gnarlier. You guys can't see it, but we're getting some sick views now, which means we're getting higher. And uh, getting higher is always a good thing. I am not the best splitboarder. But one thing I'm good at is figuring it out. So we're getting up this thing one way or another. It's just, I don't record it because it's I'm just fighting for my life on some of these sections that are like super steep and it turns and stuff. It's a whole other animal, but it is gorgeous. There's the extreme terrain we were looking for. Want to ski it? So I snowboard it? Yeah, we can just keep our skins on, like do a quick lap. Yeah, she's looking good. Right? Yeah. So cool. Got sucked. Does my backpack suck? Because like there's so much more weight pulling me backwards. There's also people die in a tree hole. I'm not that type of person. I die. I told you guys, this stuff is it's fun until you're until it's not fun. I've never been in this situation either. Like, I don't even know what to do. I wonder if I. I never make it easy on myself because I'm always trying to vlog it. Like if I didn't have a camera, this is another aspect of what I'm thinking. You know, I'm, I'm bleeding that too. But I'm like, am I getting a good shot? Getting a good angle? Oh wait, no, I'm falling backwards. That's what's happening. It wasn't even a hard section. I like threw my pole, looked back, shifted my body weight. Phew. This view though, pretty red. I want to ride into that. Which way has the sickest view? <laughs> Dude, this is a rad photo, man. All right, so here's one of the shoots that we wanted to do. This one's currently closed. Let's we'll see if any of the upper ones are open. How's it going, y'all? Good, how are you? Yeah. Is it closed or open? Uh, this is not a rum, this is the boot pack, but we oh, just opened one. up this one and I'm about to ski Cosmic Kula right over there and then that'll be open right behind me. And then immediately we're heading over to two more down there called Hammer Down and Calor Cool of Narnia. And cool. we're gonna open those up as well. Cool. And so then once you go down, you boot pack up. Here. Exactly, yeah. Cool. That's your way out of these shoots. Cool, yeah. Okay, That's right. Okay, so that cosmic one we saw is the one that you're gonna do. We gotta wait 10 minutes, so it's enough time to transition, drink some water, you get a snack in. It's like amazing how easy this stuff comes apart. But how, like once it's together, how good it works. This might be a good time to mention any of my split board gear, any of my backcountry gear, any of my actual just normal, normal snowboard gear. It's all linked in the description. 
A lot of my stuff too has like discount codes and, and like ways to save money, which is pretty rad. Ooh, fancy Cody. Dude, I brought all the goods today too. I didn't really get that big of a bag of jerky. Dude, this boot pack's gonna be scarier than our run. Oh, I believe it. We got snowboard. All right, we're fully ready to rock other than get to the chute. I watched the ski patroller go down it too. It looks freaking good. Now getting in looks nasty. Like any of these big lines, getting in is the scariest and like the most screwed up part. But once you're in, it's good. Once you're in. But yeah, you just, you gotta get it. Gotta get through it, gotta get in it. So Cody has a camera too. So we'll do like a run down in mine and then we'll do Cody's run down. Probably wasn't the best day to go first day, new boots. But I might make some goofy turns. And I always say this, lines like this, big mountain like this, it's not about being pretty, unless it's like Alaska and amazing, amazing snow. Sometimes you just gotta survive. Oh, man. Give me like 10 seconds. Oh, uh, we were looking for that pal, you know. <laughs> oh, wow. Not gonna find it here, it's already Still fun to do something that scares you. Oh, for sure, get that adrenaline pump in. Yeah. So this is the boot pack. This is the boot pack. <laughs> we'll see you up there. See ya. All right, firm, firm, punchy. That's our conditions, but hey, still sick. I'm bummed, I slipped out right at the end when it went from like somewhat okay to like yeah, hard. Yeah, slipped out too. Well, no, Orca split. Every spitboard's slightly compromised because it's a snowboard that's cut in half, but the Orca split is meant to be in very deep powder is what I've learned. That's when it turns the best. It struggles on that stuff, but we lived. All right, guys, I should have did it before we dropped, but it's that time of the video where we got to mention today's sticker shout out. We got Ryan with the gold sticker on the helmet. Look at insane, man. Thank you so much for snagging Evolution sticker. Guys, if you want an Evolution sticker, we have so many colors and styles and versions for anybody's style out there. Even if your style is being a split border, which is kind of like being a skier, we have ski versions of all of our merch. Link down below if you do snag it. It's the easiest way for us to say what up to you guys on the mountain. Yo, little dude. That is a sick sticker. What's up? That's the sickest sticker. What's your name? As well as if you do snag it, tag me on my Instagram. I'll give you guys gear and sticker shout outs in the vlogs like I just did, but also make sure you follow on the Instagram, the TikTok, and the YouTube shorts for that bonus vertical extra content. Man, that one felt fast. And we're going to keep it fast. Because we want to uh, we want to go drop another shoe. They're about to go open the two other ones. We also don't have to like sprint up there. How are you going to boot pack this? You can put the board on your back? I'll put the board on the back, and then I'm going to use my poles. Yeah, so I had the thought of holding the board. Let me see how these guys are doing. I mean, it's real boot pack. It wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt to not have the uh, snowboard in your hands. It's not just doing it. Tell you what, we're gonna get some sick shots of us boot packing up this Dude. shoot too. It's gonna look like real deal. Mountaineers. Jonathan Jones and Cody Pullen. Cody Townsend. <laughs> I have confidence in this boot pack up. So we gotta walk up this way. Because I did, what was it called? The wall, the head wall at Alaska. That was the scariest hike of my life. Nothing's topped it yet, so. I got not into head wall, so this is probably gonna be the scariest hike of my life. Hell yeah. I also like to let other people know I'm more gnarly than they are. Not joking. <laughs> Very close to the top. Honestly, it's only taking about 10 minutes to get out of this, which isn't bad. Food pack is pretty good. There was one spot that was so icy. But you're probably thinking like, dude, this boot pack out, that run, not worth it. This boot pack is worth it. This is fun to me. It's like 
scary, gnarly, challenging. I'm just stoked I'm physically fit enough for this. Like, I'm not physically tired. This is gonna get gnarly. I have to bring the camera in. The camera be alive if I said the camera didn't restrict me in some way to make it more difficult. We're on that natural geographic level though. There it is, the top. Heck yeah, Cody. Fun stuff, zero to 10, how scary? Probably like a six, maybe. There was a icy spot yeah, in the middle. All right, so now we gotta go up here to our next strap. All right, this is the next one that we wanna do. Wonder if it's gonna be closed due to all those rocks. Well, that one's closed, let's uh, keep going. We got another one, and it's also closed. I'm taking a peek though. Why is this one closed? This one looks mellow. I wonder if they just haven't got to it yet. All right, we're gonna try higher. The ski patroller we talked to said they were gonna open two higher up this way. We're just gonna keep following you guys for rope drops. Get all that fresh pow. We may have to skied the one with the best conditions thus far, so. Hammer down didn't look terrible. We're gonna also open the one just below that. Yeah, hammer down. Too. Hammer down, sick. Yeah, so we're, I'm gonna drop into this one. It's gonna be a second, not skiing it well, skiing it to ski. Yeah. Just right. see what it's like. And he's probably gonna do the same, but a little bit faster than hammer down, and then they'll both be open. Hell yeah. Enjoy it. You guys have fun. Yeah, appreciate you. Have a good run. I gotta show my strap for you now. Oh, glove badger. Okay. I don't want to go in too fast, but my plan is to like heel slide here and then take a switch heel slide like that way. I think I'm going to falling leaf down to this tree, cut right. Exactly. And then. Yeah, falling leaf, go our way in. That's the plan. Get it. Once again, entrances aren't supposed to be pretty. I said skiers, right? It's better. I think the left looks pretty good too. It's punchy. Crap, you good? That was gnarly. I'm gonna go down here to fall in no bell zone. Come on now. That's what I tried to do. Jump turns with a pack off. That was so hard. Yeah, so I tried to jump turn and it punched in like because it's yeah the snow's kind of punchy yeah. punched in and then all of a sudden the weight of the pack Whoa. i just came around the ridge and saw you tumbling uh, then i was going backwards and then i got scared and i started crying a little bit we're riding like pretty gnarly snow conditions too like as much as it sucks to fall in there and like not rip it super sick that was a huge learning experience for me first off snow conditions are not money prime you know what i'm saying it's like sun baked shelfy chattery we're on a split board which i'm still not used to fully the split board and it does not excel in this type of riding and obviously weights all messed up with backpacks and all kinds of things but at the end of the day like we're learning especially because we want to do some big shoots and now it's good to know like might have the heel size 50 roll this out bag on my back because i like was like i was like no i gotta get a good turn in and it's like jump turn and then Boom. So our next shoot's this one. I unplugged the microphones because when I was tumbling it got ripped out and then water got everywhere and I don't want to jack up anything. So do we want to try and just traverse over and see if we find it? Uh, let's try. Got it right there. Yeah, that's it, that's it. So we gotta kinda start it ourselves from here. We gotta get up to there. All right, now it's time to transition to our boot set. Okay. Oh, this is an adventure. It's what we wanted. 
what we wanted. I'm having my birthday party here. <laughs> All of you are invited. <laughs> Everyone to come to Cody's birthday. Gloves just make everything harder. If you're gonna do stuff like this, you gotta learn how to have tough hands. Make sure you grab that board. Yeah. I took a really cool photo of you. Did you? Where'd you take it, Cody's Tinder? Oh man. That's what I say, it's gonna take a minute, so if you get tired. Dude, whatever you got on top of, I can't get to. I might try to make my own boot pack. Since I just keep sinking trying to get in yours. I'm putting the camera away. This is ridiculous. All right. I put the camera away and I was able to start moving. Obviously, we would not be doing this type of traversing if they didn't already have mitigate all this stuff throughout the year. Good Lord's work, Cody. I think this is a good point after what we just went through to discuss. Do we drop the last chute that's open on this side? Go drop the other side. Or do we drop the other side? Because we kind of know what's going on on this side. It's yeah. like not great conditions. It's a hell of a boot pack out. I think uh, at the top of this, see how our legs feel and have that discussion. Yeah. It's probably a good call. I'll tell you what, though. I don't know if I felt like more of a badass <laughs> than like in this moment. They were scaling a mountain right now. Now we're on the road. Yeah, around the solidified one. So much nicer. We are out. All right. My gut's saying we don't go back that way. Yeah. We did it. Oh. We also have weather blowing in. Yeah. It's just things are stacking up. The snow is only going to get harder, firmer, and icier. All right, Cody, tree riding. Feet are on fire. My legs are on fire. I decided today would be the day I would break in new boots. Definitely been putting them to work. My feet are pissed. I have some. Jeez, man. Really pissed off toes. Oh. You can tell this resort is new because it, uh, still a lot of branches that have been like broken off the skier side. I don't know if that was the right move. Probably wait for Cody. Oh. oh, there you are. Oh, my feet are dead. How are your feet? My feet are not stoked. Oh. To base area. Ooh. Not the way I wanted to go. <laughs> Sorry, Cody. <laughs> Sorry, Cody. All right, it's kind of a flat exit out of here. You just kind of got to kick away a little bit. It's not that bad. I am blown away at how many people are here. And the fact they have all these little like huts and yurts that you can stay in and like hang out here and stuff. It's pretty cool. Very dog friendly ski resort too. Yeah, it's not a bad spot to strap in. Here comes the snow. I think we made a lot of the right calls, which is good in the back country. I'm so excited to get out of these boots. And this is their base camp. Oh. Just breathe. Ah! Sad? I just deal with my boot pain, sorry. Yeah, no, you're good. I was just wondering. You're all set. Thank you. All right, guys, what a day at Bluebird Backcountry. It's a new ski resort, no lifts. It is technically all backcountry that they have ski patrol. You know, they avalanche mitigate as best as they can. It was rad, Cody. You, sick. Cody said his birthday is going to be here and everyone's yeah, invited. You're all coming. Yeah, so uh, come to Bur Cody's birthday. And uh, with that, Timo Gals, thank you so much for spreading with me today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow in another video. It's daily on the Snowboard Channel. We do stuff like this 
daily.